Good morning, everybody. This is Dave Fry, ETF Digest with an ETF in focus. Let's look at GLD Gold on this weekly chart. And we see that we've had this kind of a cup formation here and various annotations, which include our HI high, which by the same token was not that effective since it wasn't overbought at that time. Looking at the RSI up here, you can see that we weren't that overbought at that time. Therefore, you were safe to, at least on the weekly charts, to ignore this HI. You'll note at the same time our MACD histogram moving average has been moving higher as has the money flow. What's prevented us from getting involved is what we see on this daily chart with a very choppy looking pattern after this HI was recorded. We just basically went sideways everywhere and nowhere. We could see we went up, went down in this sawtooth pattern. Now we are breaking out and that gives us an opportunity to get with the program in terms of being long GLD or any of the leveraged issues associated with GLD. What's causing this breakout? Well, there are many things, of course. China being one, Crimea and Ukraine being another, lousy economic data from China, as well as European industrial production weaker, which may mean, of course, that we may see some softening to the taper, given the fact that economic data globally is, is weakening. Hence, gold is free to move higher. It's not a given that that will happen, or there'll be follow-through back to the upside and to new highs. But for now, we can see on this daily chart, and the day's not over, that the market is breaking out. Hope you have a good day. If you're interested in this or you'd like to see more of the charts with actionable alerts, sign up to become a premium member at the ETF Digest. Thanks for watching.